It sounded as though somebody snipped the wire. Really? What did it sound like? Snip. I say, you don't happen to have seen a little white... Wang. A white wang? I can feel it in my buns. In your what? In my buns. Buns? You have buns? You bought buns and you didn't get me? Where are they? Where are the buns? Oh, no, monsieur. The buns in my body. <sighs> you should not speak with an accent when you know I'm so hungry. Oh, I'm still pleased. Sloppy. Oh. Since we cannot call for a doctor, I will need a cold compress for my chauffeur and a cup of hot chocolate for me. Nespa? I don't think we have Nespa, sir. Just Hershey's. Thank you. That could be a... He's blind, all right. Those were my funniest faces. Because I gave you a $50 bill and the gas was only five bucks. Maybe you come back, maybe you wouldn't. I couldn't take that chance, Angel. Don't you trust me, Sam. Trust you? The last time that I trusted a dame was in Paris in 1940. She said she was going out to get a bottle of wine. Two hours later, the Germans marched into France. Oh, I'm sorry, Sam. Sorry not to give me my change. I don't kiss. Just this once, Sam. I don't like kissing. Now leave me alone. Now, if one of you gentlemen would be so kind as to give my lady friend here a glass of cheap white wine, I'm going down the hall to find a can. I talk so much, sometimes I forget to go. <laughs> Just as I thought. Another test that could have cost us our lives. Saved only by the fact that I am enormously well-bred. How do I look so young? Quite simple. A complete vegetable diet, 12 hours sleep a night, and lots and lots of makeup. I'm the greatest. I'm number one. To me, you look like number two. You know what I mean? What does he mean, Miss Giffington? I'll tell you later. It's disgusting. Yeah. Stop that. Stop it, I said. What is it, Diamond? The nurse has given my palm to finger the dirty old broad. I'm not one to use hyperbole, ladies and gentlemen, but I'll tell you this. For the first time in my life, I had the caca scared out of me. All right, everybody, take your seats. I'm scared, Sam. Hold me. Hold yourself. I'm busy. Go to the can again. I don't want to miss nothing. I'm going to, Sam. I'd rather do this alone, Cash. Thanks, anyway. And one of us here will be one million dollars richer, and one of us will be going to the gas chamber to be hung. One moment, please. Very interesting theory, Mr. Carlson. But you overlook one very important point. And that is? He's stupid. He's the most stupid theory I ever heard. <laughs> He was very good to me. He would take me to the circus and give me candy. We stopped going when I was about 26. I'm sorry, Sam. 26? What the hell kind of a circus was it? Your sweetheart? Maputo. He was a most cruel man. Monsieur Twain would come to France every season to hunt poodles. Twain had Polaroid pictures of Sam in drag. I was in disguise. Lots of dames go in those joints. I never kissed nobody. And I never did nothing to a man that I wouldn't do to a woman. Sam, why do you keep all those naked muscle men magazines in your office? Suspects. Always looking for suspects. Gas! I'm sorry, I can't help it. I'm old. No, no. The other kind of gas. The kind that kills. Sometimes my gas. It is a statement of fact, Miss Twain. That as a man, you are barely passable. But as a woman, 
You are a dog. That's your opinion, big boy. Then if he really was Lionel Twain, you must really be Sam Diamond. That's right, baby. I was in disguise, in disguise, in disguise. You work hard for 50 bucks a day in this racket. <laughs>